What is up, dude? dude that's it, your boy, dude. Face here. I am here playing some Minecraft episode 16 of my Minecraft Let's Play. If you can tell, I put on this uh sidewalk here because they could spawn over here and TP over here. Uh, I don't know if this is far enough, but I was just doing it so that the, uh they can't TP out of here, so they have to stay in here. And uh, I really don't have any idea what I'm gonna do this episode. I kind of started to record. I, this usually takes me like probably around three days to record on and off because I I usually play Call of Duty a lot. But this is like <laughs> a Saturday and I upload it on Sunday. So I got to think of something to do. And it might be a shorter episode or just might be. I don't know what it's going to be. But we're going to think of something. This Enderman farm has been working great though. I really actually never even got to level 30 yet. Right here, you can just go left and right. And just kill everybody. So it's really nice. If I should step on the stair. It's really leggy though. But I'm getting lots and lots and lots of ender pearls. This is the only this is the main thing I wanted about this was ender pearls. Right here, I got this chest. And I already got these. And right there, that's like lots of ender pearls. So I'm pretty much I'm pretty uh pretty uh secured with my under pearl supply i'm gonna turn this off because i'm lagging pretty bad well, i get i i know there is some problems like that guy took a couple hits because i think uh he tp or teleported or something he came from somewhere and landed there so i'm kind of making this really really long i'm just have lost words so i'm gonna end it here and i will be back once i actually have something to do I kind of have an idea of what I want to do today. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I think it's a kind of interesting concept. So, you know what? Let me uh, turn down this because it's going to be so annoying. But the concept I have is, uh, well, I'm going to be using the stuff in the chest. I, I bet you can already tell what I'm probably going to do. Here, what's the middle? Uh, the middle is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, right here. That's four. That's three. Is there really a middle? It, it would be. It's um, <laughs> um, like I'm really picky. I'm really picky about this. That's that's just beautiful. Wait, why are these uh full blocks? Oh, they're not. They're glitched. They're glitched. So this is all I need. One book and that, but I'm gonna put that there though, because uh, uh, I'm gonna, I want to work with books today, and I really haven't worked with a lot of books lately, because I really didn't have a good place to get XP. But look, I got a lot of XP here, so I'm gonna get me three of these and one of these. Pop that here. Oh, wait, I can do like this fancy thing, right? Yeah. Uh, one, and then seven. Yeah, look at that fanciness. So that five, six, seven. Let's go. Look at that. Now I have 64 books. Now, think about these books though. Uh, you can enchant these books to get uh, millions and millions of enchantments. Okay, not millions. <laughs> but like, you can get like 20 or 30 or so. So the thing is, I'll, you can also combine these books to even get better ones. So thing is, I'll, I, I was thinking the concept would be you can get a whole bunch of level one books and Let's just say you get a whole bunch of level protection one, right? And you can combine them to get protection four. Instead of uh, risking uh, one big purchase, you can get a whole bunch of small ones and make it one big. Because now I have pretty much unlimited XP, and uh, we're going to be using the iron a lot because you got to have to combine them. But I really don't. I, I'm curious on what uh, things you get for level one. So I'm going to chance a couple so you can get. Because I know you can only get certain things at a level one. Like, you can't get everything. Oh, there was level one there. I missed it. Uh, bang. Okay, this is actually a lot harder than I thought to get level one. Jeez. Oh, it's, probably, oh, it's because of this. Derp. Sorry. Yeah, I got more books. Got more books. Okay. 
You can get a level 9 enchantment just for one thing. Oh, that's not bad. Level 1. Oh, Aqua Affinity. That's nice. Ooh, Sharpness. Nice. Power. Nice. It. I really hope we can get thorns or something. Sharpness. See right there. I already have three sharpness. That's a sharpness three sword right there. Like, no time at all. Protection. Beautiful. So, I, I know I can get protection for more power. Uh, what do we got? Protection. So, I'm going to uh, do all these books uh, off camera. Oh, efficiency. Oh, that's perfect. Let's hope we can get unbreaking as well. But I'm going to do a whole bunch of these uh, off camera. I'm going to finish off these. And uh, I'll come back to uh, tell you what I all got. I am back and I have enchanted all my goodies. Uh, I just filled up the chest. There was a couple extra. But we kind of got the gist. So all level enchants. You can get protection. Sharpness. Efficiency. Uh, what else can you get? You can get power uh, anything else sharpness protection protection power power sharpness over here aqua infinity and I'm pretty sure that's it okay so these are all the ones you get you can get aqua infinity power efficiency sharpness and protection and I love the protection I love sharpness and I love efficiency uh, I love power, I guess, for bow and aqua affinity, of course, for helmets. So pretty much all these are so good. So we'll take, let's just do uh, efficiency to start out. So we got one efficiency, right? Let's grab two. Uh, let's find another one. Where's another one right here? Three and four. And I don't know if you can make an efficiency five. But uh, let's get some uh, iron going. We're going to make a crap ton of anvils because why not uh actually only like seven <laughs> actually let's just double that okay anvils are oh wait anvils are this aren't they yeah whatever we made four okay you know what we need more than four for all the testing that we're gonna do Okay, there we go. Now we should... Six. Okay, that's at least better than four. We got ten. Okay, let's uh, put all these back except one. Uh, let's plot that. No, this place is pretty messy. Okay, we'll plot that right there. You know what? I'm going to turn all this on. I don't know if it's annoying you, but it's kind of annoying me. I just hate hearing them grumble. So, efficiency 1. To apply an efficiency 1 to an efficiency 1, it will cost 2 levels. Bang, right there, 2 levels. To buy an efficiency 2 to efficiency 1, uh, I can't do what? Oh, efficiency 1, efficiency 2, we'll make another efficiency 2. Oh, yeah, it's efficiency 1 to efficiency 1, we'll make efficiency 2. Efficiency 2 to efficiency 2, we'll make an efficiency 3. So I need five levels. And just like I didn't work on this farm at all. It's been what it's been at. So it's not perfect. But so right here. With the span of a couple levels, I already got efficiency three. Now to make this thing efficiency three to efficiency four, I'm gonna need uh uh some more efficiency. Thank you. Oh, what else do we have? Come on, do I not have any more? Oh, right, right here. Wait, was there one back there? Nope. And right there. I don't know. I think. Th shouldn't that be enough? Let's see. Bang. Two levels. Oh, yeah. That'll be enough. Uh, two levels. Then we need five to uh, combine those. Let's just get five. This Enderman farm, once it's up and running, it's like this nonstop. So pretty much you get levels like no tomorrow. So efficiency for two, efficiency two, we'll make efficiency three. Now you put efficiency three and efficiency three. Look at that. Seven levels to make an efficiency four. Seven. 
So we go like this, bang this up, and poop. Go right here, efficiency three, plus efficiency three equals an efficiency four book. And that only took, wait, let me do the math. So there was two, so two books, right? Okay, there was a total of two books for the efficiency two, and then another one for efficiency two to make efficiency three, and then another four to make that. I, don't, I, don't, I, I can't do mental math right now, but let's just say it took, it took, okay, right there that took like two minutes, right? Two minutes to guarantee an efficiency for a book. I think that's a great deal. So let's say, um, do I have any diamonds here? I don't have any diamonds. You know what, we're gonna grab, we're, we're gonna make a nice little pick over here. Nice, just so we can see how much diamonds cost for all this. So, if I were to put the efficiency four on this, nine levels. It costs nine levels. So look, go back here, kill a couple more. Wait until you get to nine, like right there. Perfect. Go back here, bang, bang, and efficiency four. See, now I think that is the best way to get your enchantments. You get a whole bunch of books and you start enchanting because all you need, pretty much all you need is leather, which I got a really, really good supply of. Uh, you need uh, iron, so you can combine everything, which I have a good supply of iron, and you need XP. And if you could tell from right here, I have a great, 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 the best source of XP there is probably in this game. I don't think they're the same thing. Uh, I think a, a double blaze spawner, I think, makes the same amount as this. But I'm not positive. See, look at that right there. Look what level I'm already at. They're not producing anymore. Well, they still are, but... You gotta wait. Look, I already, I'm already at level 23, and I finished just talking for like 30 seconds. So, you know what? This is like the greatest XP farm ever. So, thing I want to figure out though is, well, let me grab some of these books uh, and this. Let me make another shelf. Uh, I want to see what you get. Let's just say we'll put some higher enchantments now. Now we're going for higher enchantments. So if I place the book here, let's go for what's a good what's a good level. Let's go for um, you know what? I want a little bit higher. Let me uh, put some books down here. There we go. Got another shelf. Plop that down there. Now. Okay, level 10 books. So right there, that's an efficiency too, right? Go here. Uh, I I want to see if it's possible to get something like Silk Touch or Unbreaking or something like that. Feather Falling too. Okay, that's that's nice. I love Feather Falling. So I'm going to sit here. I'm not going to do a totally uh, full chest. I'll probably do a single chest. And uh, see what I all get. So I will be back once I uh, finish doing all level 10 uh, books. I have uh, finished my uh, chest of level 20. I mean, not level 20, level 10 books. And uh, pretty much, we got pretty much all, everything. We got blast protection, power, efficiency, feather falling. You know, I, was, I got the unbreaking, which I was looking for. Uh, we got the smite, which is okay. Aqua affinity, sharpness. And these are just repeats up top. But things I noticed that we did not get. We never got any fortune. Which we made without mad. Or we never got any of the other part of the helmet. Not aqua affinity. But respiration. We never got any of that either. So. <laughs> uh, the thing I'm probably going to do now. <laughs> is I'm going to go have another chest. And we're going to do level 20s. And I'm going to see what we all get for level 20s. And then probably after that, we're going to have a chest of level 30. So we're going to have a, that double chest right here. 
you got of uh, the level ones, level tens, level twenties, and then level thirties. This is probably gonna take me a while, just because this thing's not super duper fast, but it's it's still pretty fast. So I'm gonna be back once I get all those things done. So I will be back in a little bit. I am back from enchanting. Pretty much, I didn't do all, tw I did all the 20, but I didn't do all the 30 because it was kind of pretty self-explanatory of what was going to come because level 30 is like max and stuff. Here, let me, uh, oop, leg. I just pick these guys off quick. My ender pearl stash is going good. I'm getting lots of, lots and lots of the ender pearls. I, I hauled a bunch back. But so here is, um, uh, what we've got from... Uh, us enchanting. So this is level 20. This is level 30. So this is what we got for level 20. We've gotten feather falling three protections. We got sharpness, efficiencies, fortune. Fortune's a new one. We didn't get fortune at level 10. Uh, Aqua Infinity. Um, pretty much, pretty much the new one thing that we got new was uh, fortune one. And we got some so they can get up to right there protection four. We got one thing that has a level four on it. So, uh, and we pretty much got a lot of protection, a lot of three and two on it. And the big th one that, uh, I was looking at the wiki, I should add. I was looking at the wiki and figure out which one you can get Silk Touch at. So, I was doing level 30 enchantments. I got Silk Touch the first time. And I was like, oh, really? That's pretty sweet. But then I heard it's, like, super, super rare because I was looking at the wikis. And I was trying to figure out the uh, lowest level that you can get, uh, lowest level that you can get. Silk touch on and I was looking at all the ones I was looking at the wiki and there wasn't really a great Answer for that. No one just said this is the lowest level or this everybody just kind of said random things I found this one chat where he's like, oh, I got it at level 18 on a book So that was like uh, a couple months ago. So I don't know if it's changed But so if you uh, chance of a level 20, there's a chance I guess so you can get uh, a silk touch book which would be really, really nice because Silk Touch now you can use for lots of things. You can put them on shears and uh, you can put them on swords so you can get like uh, cobwebs. And uh, you can also put them breaking now on swords, which is uh, actually uh, pretty cool. So uh, I wrote some, uh, so pretty much for level one, uh, the enchantments you can get for level one are power, sharpness, aqua infinity, protection, and efficiency. And those will be all. Uh, at a level one, I've not got a single one that was above level one. They were all, every single one was level one, and you could bind really to make a a, a four or whatever. So like efficiency four or sharpness four or protection four. You need eight books in total. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, those are the one I took off for efficiency to make uh this pick right there. So you need uh eight books in total. So pretty much eight levels so it's really really easy and you can get a whole bunch of these books combined together I, i'm gonna be doing that get a whole bunch of really good protection for books because yes you can do this but it does level 30s and you can get some efficiencies and protection threes and uh, i got a protection four somewhere yep right there and stuff but i don't know i think this is just a way easier because you know that you're gonna get it and it's really really quick and really really easy uh for level 10 the, the uh pretty much all the pretty much all the enchantments i said before you get and you get uh the new ones are feather falling blast protection smite fire protection bane of arthropods spite unbreaking and projectile protection and these are all you can get them now now these start getting at level two so if you could tell there's a couple of them that are at level two i did not get a single level three i don't know if it's possible but from this little test right here, I would have to go like super big, like eight double chests to really, really see what like the likelihood of stuff or not, not eight, but like a double chest or two or something to really uh, see what we get. So now for uh, the level 20s, uh, it only adds one, one enchantment, which would be uh, fortune, uh, fortune one. I did not get any fortune two out of this. And I don't know if you can get Fortune 2. I got a lot of level 2 and level 3. But I did get one level 4. I got pro Projectile Projection level 4. I did not get any other level 4. So I guess 
there is a slight possibility you can get a level 4 with level 20. So if you really want, you can just enchant a whole bunch of stuff and get a whole bunch. Uh, try to get a level 40 or level 4 out of the level 20 enchantments. You can do that, but I wouldn't recommend it. And I guess you also can get Silk Chuck, Silk Touch. Oh, I'm just slurring my words right now. Silk Touch from this as well. So that's also really, really nice. And for the level 30, all the ones are, these are max books. So Prince, most of them are uh, level 3, level 4. I never got uh, any smaller. I guess it's Silk Touch and I got Punch 1 at level 30. Which I think, why would you get punch one? Because you can get that like way back over here, like at level 20, you can get punch. But yeah, so you can also get smite and all this stuff. So overall, uh, the thing I was surprised at, I did not get a single respiration. I don't know if they took that out of the game or now they have it because of the. the the new uh, the quill fish or whatever kind of fish coming out in the new snapshot, you can uh, use it to breathe in the water. I don't know if they took that out, but I did not get a single respiration, and respiration makes you hold your breath uh, longer. I do not understand why. Why is he still alive? Whatever. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what I'm really, really surprised about. So, so I think this actually worked out really well. I'm probably going to be, I'm going to be enchanting a lot of my stuff with books. From now on because if I sit here and get a pick and just get fortune 2 that's just that's a total downer because like fortune 2 like I want fortune 3 for one no efficiency no one breaking I can add books to it but if I get like a really bad enchantment or something I'm not looking for like if I really want a silk touch pick and I get like a fortune pick yeah I'll be happy but it's not a silk touch pick so I'll just have to put that pick aside so I think this is a really really good method uh, uh, to get enchantments that you really, really like, uh, like right here, I got the sufficiency for, it, if, if I could get all those books that I wanted right away, this prob this pick probably took me about, about a, a solid three minutes. It took me a solid three minutes to get that, which I think is so worth it, and it's just so nice, and this is going to be an excellent way to get your stuff. So I'm going to go see how much time I have left of this episode. And if I have more time, I'll figure out what else we can do. So I found something that we could do while uh, while we make the episode longer. Because I really had nothing else planned. I don't know how long it's supposed to take. Ooh, got more stuff. Uh, this is my iron supply right now. Look at that. Four blocks of iron right now. Like, I am cruising with iron right now. This iron farm is so good. Hey, I've never used this pick before. But we're gonna we're gonna fix this place up. We're gonna make it look nice, nice and pretty. Cause a lot of you are commenting, be like, don't keep it ugly. And don't worry. I'm not gonna keep it ugly. So I just wanted to get rid of that a little bit. Now it's time to place the grass. <laughs> or dirt. I call it grass. It's called grass, okay? It's, it will be grass. So you call it what it's gonna be. Like, when you're younger, your mom could be like, Oh, look at you, you little soccer player, something. I, I, I don't know what I'm trying to get at there. But, you just, you know, it it's grass. Someone said in the comment section below, it was like, it's dirt. I'm like, nope, it's grass. It is in grass indeed. I'm lagging. I lag a lot now. My computer is getting slower and slower and slower. Or I'm just making this world more epic and epic, which it's making it worse and worse and worse. Uh, I'm trying to keep, like, the same right here. Like, I just dug up all this sand here because I needed sand. Uh, I don't know why I dug it up here. Because I actually don't have a desert around here. Like, not a close one at all. My closest one... I said that in early uh, another video. My closest uh, sand uh, biome is like right way back, way back when I got my uh, horse. Way back there, there was a, a sand uh, biome with some uh, villages in it, and that was the. Whoa! I am lagging like no tomorrow. Wait, maybe I can probably fix some of this. Uh, video settings, render distance normal graphics fast move lighting we'll turn it off 
and performance max FPS. Whoa. Why is there a uh, the uh, baby villager just like cruise it? Wow, that actually looks pretty bad. Okay, I have no idea where he's going, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn back on to uh, at least smooth lighting. Because without the smooth lighting, it looks pretty crappy. It doesn't do much, but you can tell. You can tell that it does a little. So I guess I'm gonna go finish this up. I'm just trying to make it a little bit longer for you guys. I I'm really, really swamped this week. Not gonna be. I'm trying to get a couple videos for Monday, Tuesday as well because I cannot play because I got some big tests coming up. So I really, really gotta study for it. It's getting harder and harder to post it because the beginning of the year it's pretty easy, but now I'm like starting to get into the big projects because you just kind of finished up a unit, kind of in your classes. So you're starting to get. Starting to get a big project going and all of that. So, yeah, it's getting harder to record, but don't worry. I'm going to be recording more Minecraft. I'm going to be possibly doing a survival map with uh, one of my uh, pals. You've probably seen the video. Uh, I knew I've known him all the way since Black Ops 1. Uh, he was like the first official clan I ever joined. He was the leader of the first official clan I ever joined. Uh, so. It wasn't like a big clan. It was you just call yourself a clan, you know. I didn't change the gamer take. It was just like our, our uh, little player card thing. So it it was it was pretty cool. So yeah, I don't know why I just keep talking. I'm just kind of rambling on. But so I'm gonna go cut it here, fill this all up, maybe smooth out a couple edges, and I will be back with you guys when I am done with that. I finished terraforming and making it look pretty. And there it is. Oopsies, mouse fail. There it is. I think that looks really, really nice. Uh, I was just going to put some dirt over it. You know, that's what I usually do. But I kind of want to get more and really make my base look nice. So, you could tell I bone meal my hand. i just been bone mealing everything. I actually think I think that looks really, really nice. Added some roses, make it more colorful. There's still some dirt needs to fill in. Uh, I made this uh, little area right here, little pool. Flows down this waterfall into this river. This, I uh, made this river. I'm going to probably uh, dig this out one more deeper to kind of match with that side. And that side, because that was a pool there, and that was a pool there. I just connected them. Uh, here's a really good trick with the reeds. Like, sometimes you don't want all three high reeds. You want diversity. So, if you can tell, this is three high. This is two high. Oopsies. This is two high, and he'll never grow. I don't know if you could tell, but right there, if you can see the hitbox, right there, there's a piece of string there. If you put a piece of string on top, you can barely see it. And then the they can't grow anymore. So look at that. If you're just walking by, like I can't, I can, I can see it because I'm looking for it. But if you can't see it, looks nice. Uh, I grew uh, three trees here. I think that also looks uh, pretty nice, nice and dandy. Uh, still a couple of spots of dirt that needs to be filled in. But overall, I think uh, think uh, it it looks really really nice. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. Favorite if you really liked it. Follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description down below. Check out Unleashed Customs. They make custom controllers, PS3, and Xbox. Use the code DUDEFACE for money off. Check out Brass Monkey apps. They do Call of Duty apps and a Minecraft app, guys. They're coming out with the Minecraft app. And it looks pretty legit. You can share your worlds with friends. This is all on your phone. You can share your worlds with friends. And it's 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 really, really cool concept. So... Stay tuned for that. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.